Hello lovely viewers, you are most welcome to our channel Poetry Online. In this video, we shall be presenting to you the major themes of the poem Once Upon a Time by Gabriel Okara. Kindly subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get updates on all our new videos. Once again, let us assure you of a very interesting discussion. Get ready for this lesson. Once Upon a Time is a poem that talks about the degeneration and demoralization of the modern world as a result of many social and cultural norms. The poem pictures a lively conversation between a father and his son. The poet presents a poetic persona as a victim of societal changes which has made him to lose his real identity. The poet begins the poem as if telling an old story and remarks once upon a time. As a father, he makes us aware of the Asian values and beliefs and the falseness in modern societies since there is no connection between people's actions and their feelings. One of the major themes of this poem is the theme of hypocrisy. The theme of hypocrisy is central to this poem. This poem draws a clear or vivid contrast between people's behavior in the past and in modern societies. The good old days were characterized by genuine love and feeling towards one another. However, in modern societies, the poetic persona has witnessed the degeneration of the cherished values and beliefs of the African continent. Hence, people have learned formal, polite and correct but meaningless behavior. People in modern times act differently based on the situation or social context they find themselves. Thus, they wear different faces to different places. As a result of the advanced globalized world of social media and social networking, people act in a manner they think is appropriate for the situation without really meaning what they say or do. In today's world, people smile and laugh, but they do not mean it. When they say, come again to a guest, they do not really mean it. They only say that as a way of being polite or being nice and not because they want you to come back again. Next is the theme of greed and selfishness. Another theme that is key to this poem is the theme of greed and selfishness. People in modern societies are not really interested in meeting poor people. They are only interested in meeting rich, powerful, successful, and famous people. They show little or no regards to the poor. As the poet says, now they shake hands without their hearts, while their left hands search my empty pockets. What it simply means is that they are only interested in meeting rich, powerful, successful, and famous people and show no regard whatsoever to the poor. Next is the theme of loss of innocence. Right from the title of the poem, the poet clearly informs us that something was done in the past which is no longer in existence in modern times. Or, right from the title, we get a feeling that the laudable trace the poet is going to discuss or the laudable traits a poet once we emulate were dominant traits years past, hence once upon a time. This poem bemoans the loss of innocence and compassion towards people in modern societies. As a father or a person who has lived long enough to witness the transition of African communities into modernity, he bemoans the loss of Asian values and beliefs which were dear to the lives of Africans. Due to modernization and civilization, most Africans have soon forgotten the simple and honest human feelings. The result of it is that there is a loss of innocence. Hence, the poet's desire to go back to his childhood innocence. He is determined to unlearn and get rid of all the fake lifestyles surrounding modern society and relearn childhood innocence by observing his children or allowing their innocence and honesty to be an example for him to follow. Next is the theme of societal changes. The poet used two characters from two different generations to demonstrate the effect of societal changes on the individual. The speaker or poetic persona is an old man who shares his experiences with his son. He tells his son about the behavior of people in the past and in the present or the modern society. He hammers that as a result of the advanced and globalized world of social media and social networking, people have embraced foreign values and 
they have become uninterested in their own values, which are more natural and simple to practice. The poet condemns modernity in strong terms and desires to go back to the good old days. The next thing we're going to be talking about is the theme of nostalgia. The poet shows or demonstrates a strong desire not only to go back to the past, but also to live the life they used to live in the past. He feels more of a stranger in this advanced globalized world where everything is fake. The poet comments on the tendency of Africans, all in the name of modernity and civilization, have abandoned African wisdom, values, and general traditional ways of doing things, which is characterized by innocence and simplicity, to glue or to adhere to the modern ways of doing things, characterized by hypocrisy and fakeness. After drawing a contrast between the past and the modern societies, the poet wants to unlearn all that he has learned from the so-called modernity or modern society to relearn the innocence and African wisdom he may have forgotten while trying to fit into the modern society. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share this video.